Let's play a few tactical puzzles here on Lee Chess. Uh, I've logged out, so I'm going to get some randomized puzzles here. I don't know whether they will be easy or hard. Uh, we're just going to get some random difficulty. Okay, so the first thing I think about is the material count. So I'm white here, and I'm noticing looks like I'm down just a pawn. Okay, the H file is open I can make use of. King is vulnerable. I want to attack. So two attacking moves that come to mind are this rook here or the other rook here, which is supported by uh, the queen. Okay, other forcing moves to think about are actually rook takes pawn check, kind of blasting open the pawn cover. Okay, maybe that's good. So I get to decide, do I put a rook on the H file, or do I blast open the pawn cover? If I put a rook here on the H file, let's say I play that one there. This queen is really low on squares. Oh, in fact, his queen has no squares. <laughs> okay. So at least I'm going to win the queen, queen for a rook, if I play uh, rook to the corner. Yeah, I, I don't see anything. He can take my rook, I can take his queen, and I can continue attacking. So that would be a big material uh, advantage, uh, since his queen has no escape squares. Notice that's better than playing the other rook here, because then the queen has escape squares. So do I win the queen, or do I have some mating attack? I still want to look at this for a second. Rook takes pawn check, pawn takes rook. Queen takes pawn check, king goes in the corner. Don't have any follow-up other than queen to f6 check, and the bishop can block, and he's starting to block the attack. Doesn't look possible. So I'm going to win the queen, and that was it. Okay, so success. Uh, the puzzle rating was 1432. You can see that on the right. Let's try another one. Okay, so his king is on the run. Um, I'm down a couple pawns again here. Got a couple pieces to attack that king. He also has some loose pieces. Those are unguarded except by the king. If I can drive the king away, I can maybe win a piece. But let's look for forcing moves. Let's look for checks. So there's a couple checks with the queen. There's a check here or here. So if we check here, you can block. Um, with this queen. Uh, but then when there's a there's a typical tactic after that. The rook would take the pawn and draw the king away from protection of the queen, and he'd lose his queen. So after queen here, can't block, you would lose your queen. So the only other legal move is moving the king up here. But then we have rook here check, which again wins the queen. So we're going to win the queen, if not mate, so that looks pretty good. Let's play it. Okay, and let's win that queen. And we got it. All right, so that one was rated 1566. Let's try another one. Okay, so um, look at your queen lined up with the king here. You have a discovery with this rook. You can do anything you want with this rook. At the very least, I have this move. Check from the queen, and win the king, queen over here. So again, is this three puzzles in a row where I'm winning the queen? Okay, is there anything better than winning the queen? Uh, maybe we can play this. Check. That forces the king to capture the rook. And then we have a mate. Ah, that was a deceptive puzzle. Very tricky. They're tempting me to win the queen again, but I'm not falling for it. Check and mate, mate in two. So that rating was a little higher, 1753. Let's try another one. Okay, what's the material count here? It looks about equal. I think uh, I'm down a pawn. So I notice this bishop is guarding this escape square for the king, so I'm looking for back rank stuff here. And I see it, okay. Queen comes here, check. Rook takes queen. Rook takes rook. Looks like a mate in two. Let's play it. 
check, and mate. Okay, so look for those back rank mates. That was an easier one, 1367. Let's try another one. Okay, what's the material count? Uh, looks like I'm down a rook here. Got a couple pawns for it. This king is dangerously low on squares. And I've got a battery down this file. So I can invade with the queen. I can't take the bishop. The rook would get me. But I can put the queen here, check. Force the king into the corner. And then, yes, there's another back rank mate. Well, no, not quite. If I take the bishop, rook takes queen, rook takes rook. There's the knight here to block. So the knight would finally block in the end there. So I don't want to do that. I can win the rook, though, just to check and a, a, a simple fork here. I can win the rook. But I'm a rook down. Do I just want to win a rook? I'd have two pawns up then. Not to mention he'd get my bishop after that, so no. Although he can't take the bishop because check, king goes in the corner, take the rook. If you get the bishop, then I get the other bishop. No, I get the bishop with the rook. Knight blocks, and then I mate. Okay. So yeah, after I fork the king and rook, I win the rook. I'm still threatening a mate here on the back rank. I'm going to pick up more material. I don't see anything better. This bishop is blocked out for the moment. This bishop's not doing anything for the moment. I just have these pieces to work with. So that's got to be it. Check. Win the rook. Okay, and he couldn't do anything there. Just moved the rook down. Um, he did pin my rook, I guess, so I don't have my mate I was planning. Rook takes bishop, knight blocks, and then rook takes knight. So that's what he did. He stopped that mate. Um, but I can win the bishop. And then the knight blocks. And I'm up material. I have to save my bishop, though. At least I can put it here, and the rook would guard it. So do I just win the bishop? And then I'm up a piece and a couple pawns. Is there anything better? No, I don't think so. Again, there's no other pieces to move. These bishops are blocked out of the action. My rook is pinned, so I'm going to win the bishop. And that's the it. That's, that's the end of the puzzle. Um, he, would, he would block. That was a rating 1690, by the way. Let me turn the engine on. He would block with the knight. And uh, engine suggesting just trading rooks here. That's one way to save your bishop. I was thinking about this, which is terrible, <laughs> according to the engine. Luckily, the puzzle ended. You take, you take, and you fork the king and the rook. OK. Well, I would have stopped and thought about it. All right, well, I got that one. Let's continue on. OK, so what's the material count here? Looks like it's equal, two minor pieces, two rooks, and a queen each. Um, I'm down a pawn. So what's going on in the position? Okay, he's threatening this pawn. I'm threatening his bishop. So yeah, his bishop is hanging. Can I take it? That's the first thing that pops into my head. Do I just take the bishop? If I take it, his queen can come in. Threatening possible mates here. Checking on h3. King move over. Queen here. That rook nicely participating. So can I block that stuff? No, the queen has h3 guarded. The knight has g2 guarded. I'd have to guard the knight after the queen comes in. Okay, let me look around to see if there's anything besides pawn takes bishop. Knight here doesn't do anything. This rook is loose. I don't see any way to take advantage of that. I can win this pawn. So I think it's a defensive puzzle. After I take the bishop, I have to keep my piece lead. So let's see. Pawn takes bishop. I don't see anything better than recapturing with the queen. And I've got to save my knight. How do I save the knight in that situation? Oh, well, I have uh, rook takes pawn then, uh, guarded by my bishop, hitting the queen and saving the knight. And 
doesn't have any checks with the queen here. Check on h3 is guarded by my queen. Check on f3 is guarded by my queen. Uh, check on g2, which would be a mate, is guarded by my knight. He's got no, no safe checks with his rook. He's got nothing. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to win the piece, and then I'm going to take the pawn and guard my knight. Okay. So that was a raid at 1771. Let's try another one. Okay, so what's the material count? Looks like I'm down a piece here. He just attacked my rook. Wow, I have terrible development. What am I going to do? I've got nothing developed. <laughs> okay, I, I, can't, I can't move anything. All right, I got to move this rook. Um, do I just move it here, check, and win the rook in the corner? Is that it? Down a piece. I want to lose the rook. I've got to move it, right? That can't be it. Rook here, check. King moves out of the way. There's no block. So king moves out of the way. I get the rook in the corner. I was down a piece, so then I'd be up the exchange. And um, he doesn't have a counterattack, I don't believe. So I'm going to win the rook in the corner. Okay, that was kind of a silly puzzle. 1237. Let's play one more, see if we get a hard one. Okay, the bishop just took my pawn. Ooh, so I'm down a couple pawns, but <clears throat> when you're down a couple pawns, um, you got to win some material. You can't checkmate here. There's not enough material to checkmate. So you look for forcing moves. You see this check. It's a fork. It's pretty obvious. Okay, but can I win that? Check. King comes up. Takes the bishop check. He takes my pawn. Well, yeah, I win another pawn. And then another pawn. My king should be able to hold off these two pawns. I should be able to promote this one over here. Looks pretty good. Check. Check. Take the pawn. Threaten another pawn. Yeah, that one was too easy. 1282. Let's play one more. Okay, he just took my bishop. Another end game here. Um, and I'm down two pawns. I'm down material again. I can win a pawn back right away. Ah, wait a minute. I've got this bishop in line with the king, and the pawn's in my way, but hey, can I just take that and win a piece? So a discovery check with the bishop. Bishop can block, but then the other pawn takes it. So yeah, this wins a piece. Looks pretty good. Okay, again, too easy. 1095. Let's get a hard one. One more. I feel like Nakamura. Nakamura plays puzzles on, on his uh, streams and... He says one more for like an hour. Okay. So what did he do? He just took a, a knight. Okay. So do I take his bishop back, restore the material equality, and then go down a pawn? Is there something better than taking the bishop back? Ah, can I take the rook? Rook's guarded, but no, no, no. His queen would get taken. So queen takes rook, pawn takes queen, rook takes queen, and I'm up the exchange, and I'm threatening this bishop. Should be able to hold off this pawn from queening by putting the rook behind it. So yeah, they're, they're, they're tempting me to take the bishop. It is with check, though. So if I took the bishop with check, um, for example, if the king takes back, then I can still do this tactic and take the rook because the pawn's pinned. But if I call check, he can take with the queen and get the queen out of the pin, and then I can't take the rook anymore. So they're tempting me to take a bishop when I should actually take a rook. Okay, there we go. So 1595, a little harder. And in the spirit of Nakamura, I'm going to say one more. Okay, so what do we have here? All right, I, I just saw this pawn leave this file, so my eye is on this file here. I'm looking at these rooks being opposed. Um, I'm looking at moving this bishop out of the way, getting a discovery on his rook. Of course, if I moved it right here, that would be kind of silly. He would just take my rook. But what if I moved it all the way over here and called check? Okay, and he takes my bishop, and I take his unguarded rook. I win the exchange. 
and a pawn. Is that good enough? Is the material equal here? Yeah, the material is equal. I can win the pawn and the rook for my bishop. Does he have a counterattack? Mm, no, I don't see any counterattack. I see nothing. Is there anything better? No, I see nothing better. Let's do it. Check. Win the rook. Okay, I'm going to stop there. Um, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the tactics.